on a pleasant good Monday morning. It's the 10th day of May. Hope you had a good weekend. Hope you had a good Mother's Day too. Um, well, the Dodgers come up short against the Angels, losing 2-1. to one. And uh, yes, our bats just went silent after Saturday night's outburst. But yeah, the Angels did take two out of three at home. And yes, we lose another series. But now it's time to go back home to take on the Mariners. Yeah, the Angels take on the Astros. But we'll be rooting for the Angels in this one. Because the Astros are nothing but losers, nothing but cheaters. Astros have got a problem. Yeah. And how about that big win by the Lakers last night? 123 to 110 over the Phoenix Suns. And so now the Suns are two games behind Utah for the top spot in the West. And Lakers, with their win last night, Lakers are 38 and 30. And boy, if the Lakers keep winning, we don't have to play in that play-in tournament. We'll probably be the sixth seed. Well, unfortunately, uh, Dallas keeps winning, though. Yeah, Dallas is the fifth seed, so. Yeah, Dallas, the Clippers, Jazz, and Suns are the top three, but home field advantage or home court doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what happens in the playoffs as long as one team is healthy. But both the Lakers and Dodgers are off today. And the Padres, of course, blew out the Giants in last night's in yesterday's afternoon game. Meanwhile, the Boston Red Sox have baseball's best record. And uh, it's still early in the year. But it doesn't mean that they're going to go all the way. Yeah, you don't win your division in May. You usually do it in September or October. And a happy birthday going out to Chris Berman. Of course, who does, he's an ESPN guy. He called the Home Run Derby. He's even called some playoff games. And of course, a happy birthday to Bono from U2 and to Victoria Rowell. Um, it's another overcast morning. Yeah, we're, we're going to have this usual weather pattern all week with the marine layer in the morning, afternoon sun. But still no rain in May either. And we'll just, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Lakers got four more games. So did the Clippers. I think the Clippers are probably going to settle for the three seed, and luckily the Lakers in the six seed. But I don't know how far both our teams will go this year. Yeah. The Clippers still have a shot. The Lakers got a long shot. But meanwhile, have a good rest of your day, and I'll catch you later. Amen.